Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell. Now I know, like I said, I'm going to leave the, you know, motorcycle, bike, um, you know, mini series open. So if anything should arise, uh, you know, uh, any new things that are out that I would recommend, I would do a review for you guys. So hello and behold, I found something amazing. I showed you guys my review of the Zugo, um, you know, corner mirrors and all of that. I showed you guys the video corner mirrors, which I prefer you know uh, the, the 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 rear video <laughs> that is that i i prefer overall but if you run out of battery you want something really good so anyways my thing got actually hammered and the zugo one obviously zugo is out of business now uh it broke off the uh you know the uh corner mirror so i was in the market to look for a new corner mirror and uh, lo and behold i found something amazing i didn't think i was going to do a review I, th I thought i was just going to get any corner mirror put it in but then i was looking through all of them and i found something and i think it would highly benefit the public and this is what this uh channel is about informing the public of new information from real people like you and i not paid for reviewers i buy this all with my own money so i wanted to do a review for you guys because i absolutely loved it and i put it not just on my bike on my friend's bike i got one for my friend uh, well two for my friend so you could buy it as a pair and on on Amazon or as a single and I don't do you know affiliate links or anything like that because again I do I buy this all with my own money so you could trust me on this as always and you guys could be the jury on this it's by a company called West Biking so let's get right into it <music> Okay, guys, so here it is. It's by a company called West Biking, and you can see right here all around. So it just shows you a little bit of each. So just look that up on, uh, you know, on uh, Google. And I'm just going to rip this all out right now. I don't, you know how I am. I don't have patience for removing. And that's my kid right there in the background. I'm going to cry right now because he's hearing all this noise. Just put him to sleep. But anyways, here we go, guys. Uh, whoop, let me see if I can get this open. There you go. Okay, comes relatively. In, whoop, comes with a hex key. And right here, I'm going to show you guys, is the corner mirror. Now, this is anti-glare, which is pretty cool. But I can show you it's 360 here. And it's also 360 in here where you're pulling. You're supposed to, uh, you know, unscrew this a bit from here. It has a spring. So you basically pick it up and put it on. And it's anti-glare. So you can put, like, lights into it. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks on my bike. And here is one that's put together. So what's cool is also you can loosen this up and check this out extend it all the way out obviously or just extend it like this but you could take it out when you're leaving or if you, you're scared somebody's gonna steal this you could just take it right out or just you see retractable which is so freaking cool so let's say i'm now i want to show you see hold on because this thing has to be attached to a bike so here we go so you can you see that you can turn it however you want by simply raising it because it has a spring and just turning it around without having the need to loosen uh, the screw too much or even loosen the screw to be honest with you. You could just leave it kind of like this and it, because it has teeth around it, it has a gear, it, w it will not spin unless you pick it up and spin it around. So I'm going to show you now how it looks right on the bike and we'll get right to it and you'll see how awesome this damn thing is. So anyways, let's get right to Okay, guys, so I'm outside over here. So I wanted to show you the difference between the Zugo one, which, by the way, a lot of companies make. Uh, Zugo, before going out of business, they actually uh, just slap their label on it versus this. So first off, you do kind of get what you pay for in terms of this one. You have a very, very large uh, stretch here. Now, this one, you have a smaller, but this thing could extend as well, uh, giving you almost, uh, I would say, even uh bigger than this to be honest with you than the Zugo one it goes up a little bit higher the cool part about it is this 
uh, which I've seen many, many people um, try to remove them off bikes, uh, criminals and everything. They try to, you know, take it out. Where this one, you could just simply take out the entire thing and call it a day. Now, in terms of viewing, this one, um, you could shine a light to it. I'm going to see if I could get it. It's daytime right now. It's really hard for me to do this. So let me just uh, get back. So I don't know if you could see it, but the light's on. But um, I guess because it's daytime, you can't. But you actually, it's not as crystal clear as you would have it on the cheaper one right here. I know it's kind of hard to see right now because it's, uh, like I said, daytime. So um, really hard uh, to see there. You're just going to get, because you're going to just have to take my word. Now, in terms of plastic, both of these are plastic. But here's the cool part. This one by Zugo is a metal clasp. This one, I think also... No, this one is a plastic. So this one is plastic, but hard plastic. So, uh, you know, in this one, you have to be very careful when you put it just hand tight. You don't want to tighten too much. Uh, where this one, uh, you know, you could tighten as hard as you want. Nothing's going to happen. I also like the screws on the Zugo one over the screws here. These are just regular hex keys. Uh, these were actually uh, used for my computer uh, as uh, thumb screws. So those are pretty cool. Now, there is a better point here. Uh, if I wanted to put away my bike, this was always a nightmare because I had to take a hex key turn that, uh, you know, loosen this up and then put it together. Also, what I used to hate is as you're riding, if you're moving this in any way, you always need to keep your hex key tool uh, with you your, your, uh, uh, because otherwise it's just uh, not going to work. So if you don't, you know, have an Allen key or whatever, you're, you're just not going to be able to fix this and the entire ride until you get home, it's just going to be flopping around, which sucked in the Zugo one. This one right here, you can tighten it, uh, just semi-tighten like I did, and then you could just simply raise it as I showed you guys and then switch positions but it has gears so it locks into place all the time which makes this absolutely superior to this now in terms of viewing angle they both do a great job except you could tell in this one it has a certain coating that just gives you better uh, a better view than it does on this even though the glass here seems high quality compared to this uh, they kind of feel almost the same but I'm telling you it's a better viewing angle uh, from this uh, from the cheaper one right here now this is for, to get a two-pack the left and right it's gonna cost about $27 this baby right here cost me I forgot 60 70 bucks at the time I don't remember I did a review I got into an uh, semi accident and I'll show you guys exactly what happened the, this whole thing actually broke off and I'm gonna show you guys where again this is where I like this where you can actually move it uh, out uh, you know in and out so somebody tried to obviously take uh, my thing out and probably didn't have a hex key so what happened was uh, they just uh, pulled it right out or did something to try to deface it or something like that I'm gonna show you right now so like I said I've been through an accident with this one right here but the fun uh, and this is the screw I wanted to show you so the funny thing is um, it actually held its own but it was kind of a little bit cracked so then I guess somebody else as you can see came to it and probably re didn't have a hex key to take these out so what he did was he just pulled out the mirror completely out and until this day i have no idea where that mirror is but it can't it can't go to the socket because he broke it off now it could have been from the accident which was already cracked so i'm not going to say a hundred percent i know what i'm talking about but you know it is what it is but you can see that metal clasp right here <coughs> this one as i showed you you could take it right out no problem so we're gonna replace. Uh, we're gonna place it on my uh, bike, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Uh, the finished product, how it looks all together. Uh, you know everything together. So let's get right to it. So as I told you guys, <clears throat> even though this is a Zugo, um, you know uh, frame, everything on this bike I did myself, including this trunk right here, and uh, I chose actually to do it this way underneath only because this thing is a high ride and when i had it always in the top i had obstructed view so uh with the other one that is and obviously it'll be the same with this one so i decided to put it down also it actually is pretty cool because this thing gets in the way of uh, my motors and all you know uh triggers and all of that so it's just nice going right underneath you could catch really everything you want and like i said 
this can go anywhere in the inside out so you can get the perfect perfect uh vision uh using this and again when you want to take it out simply just now it has also measurements just so you know let me just see here just gonna take this out uh, let me just yank it right out here so you see measurements so you could get it i don't know if you guys could see it here because i'm just like let me just uh put it on the table over here <laughs> got a lot of uh things over here but uh let me just see if i can get it into focus here see right there so you can always make it even and not have any issue but again not really you know up to that but because it's based on how you want it uh to stretch out but it is cool to remember then what measurement you have it on and you see i take it right out i could flip this pull it this way as you can see hold on here so you just pull it i needed two hands for that and then you have it this way if you want to park it or anything like that you have this right here and you just take it out so it's really cool because you could just take this out uh, and I showed you guys there's measurements on it as well so you could do you know take it and put it whatever measurement you want but of course it has to do with uh, you know what's the safest option then of course I just pulled it with two hands and now it's like this and obviously nobody's gonna take it out uh, you know they're not gonna want something like this <laughs> it's just a plastic piece that does absolutely nothing uh, I just do wish that this thing was able to rotate unfortunately because it has a track you could only put it in one way which kind of sucks because that would have perfected things even more uh, but this thing is really really cool I only wish they had like a metal version of it but then again maybe it's better plastic because then it's all weather and it's much better that way but really cool uh, view obviously not like this but give me one moment it's really cool to have the this bike uh, I'm always adding new things to it and all that, but I still highly recommend the, because uh, this has no blind spot whatsoever, right down the middle, 180, perfect uh, to see it on screen. But you will run a, out of battery if you don't have a backup battery and you're going on very, very extreme long rides. You always, uh, I always look, I don't even look at the battery on my, on my bike. I look at the battery here because this is the most safest way to do it. And I did a review for you guys on that. But if let's say you, you run out of juice, it's nice to know that you guys have this little baby here that could work and uh, has a great view as you guys could see really nice view and i love the coating on it so it's like anti-glare anti-sun anti you know anything that shines you could see that it you could see everything just very very clearly so really cool and also when you park your bike and you want to put it away in into the tent and you don't want to smash these things you can just pull them out and that's about it but now every time i go to a store i don't have to really remove um, my battery because it already has a lock but I could I have a cutter switch that I do for it that only I have the key that can uh, take it out so that's good for safety I just basically pull this out pull my phone out I don't care about this but uh, pull my phone out take this out take these two out and I'm good to go perfect for safety perfect for everything and that's about it so anyways guys as always like I said I buy this with my own money. I'm not a paid for reviewer. So uh, definitely um, if you, you know, this will work for just about any bike, any any kind of uh, setup you have, whether electric or whether or not, um, moped, anything, this thing will work. But like I said, I work three jobs to make this happen uh, because that was my mission to open up a channel that can actually inform people by real people like you and I, by honest people, not paid for uh, yuppie reviewers who tell you something is good when it's not. Now, in terms of the Zugo one, it had its purpose. It was, it's solid. Both of them fail in one little thing. I wish they had in the back of these. Uh, you know, if they had it in the back, that would have been so cool. Um, you know, reflectors or something, but you could always add stickers or whatever to it but it just would have been cool if it would have had like an on reflector that would have been pretty cool but of course that would drive the price much higher but anyways I'm gonna tell you in terms of safety this is probably one of my favorites uh, definitely like a I'm gonna give it like a um, I'm gonna say about an 8 out of 10 uh, definitely uh, I probably should rate it even 9 out of 10 but uh, I would have loved to see a reflector here I think we're about you know people are starting to put them on I don't know why these guys didn't but whatever um, 
really cool. Uh, wish that these clasps were metal instead of plastic, but you know, it's doesn't matter but it does its job so that's that's all there is to it but for the price of $27 you really can't complain uh really and you know when it comes to safety these it's the glass that really matters and you know and how you put it on and the extender I really like the concept I just wish it could turn 360 and tighten that would have been cooler but it only goes in one uh track because you see like I, I would rather not move this I would rather have more control over you know certain areas but uh yeah that's all i got to say about that so definitely eight out of ten uh, room for improvement on everything obviously but really this has become my uh favorite uh corner mirrors but i still recommend obviously this but if that thing goes out of battery it's good to know that you have something safe that could get you home until you charge that uh that uh specific battery uh now i am going to say this if you like what you see definitely like subscribe hit that bell button as you know helps the algorithm a lot help us sift through all the garbage uh reviewers to get to the truth from real people like you and I and like I said I, I love that you guys offer me patreon services and everything but you see I don't have a patreon uh, it, the reason is I work three jobs to make this happen believe me I got this and you guys are already doing more than enough we live in uncertain times I'd rather you guys keep that money invest in yourselves invest in these products invest in your family um, you know you guys are doing more than enough by being the jury do you agree do you disagree do you find anything better definitely uh, in the comment section put that down so we could help the community at large make better informed decisions that's the whole point of it but at 27 bucks something like that and sometimes amazon even has it on sale uh these are really a steal um so as always guys just a little bit over a year and we're making it to on a road to ten thousand. so uh that, you know just word of mouth no advertising here so share it with everybody you know make the family grow comment down below have a good one y'all take care bye as always guys if you like what you see self-funded here be sure to check out all my other uh stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology you know and uh, nintendo reviews and 3d printer uh reviews and all that good stuff if you like what you see the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come definitely want you guys in it and i want to want you guys to be vocal definitely comment down below i want to hear what you guys have to say have a good one y'all take care bye